Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, skincare, beauty, and fun. Today we're going to be ranking all of my cream slash liquid blush formulas. So if this is something that you are interested in, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and without any further ado, let's go. Okay, so um, I don't admittedly have the largest, most vast variety of liquid and cream blushes. I have what I'm comfortable with as far as a collection, but um, certainly it's not one of the grander ones, so this video won't be too, too long. I also did not include, if I have multiple colors in a specific formula, I did not include that. So without any further ado, worth noting, I do not dislike any of these formulas. There's only one admittedly that I'm like this is actually not for me and it needs to be decluttered um and it's going to come in last place the first one that we're going to talk about is this one by Wander Beauty this is um their double date lip and cheek the top one which is the blush is going to be sweet talker and then the bottom has a clear gloss and that swipe that's of course not what we're referencing today we're talking about this top one um in the shade sweet talker and the reason that i don't love this is that it's very balmy um i totally understand that it is meant to be lip and cheek but my trouble is that unless i'm wearing this on a bare face it's going to pull up my foundation and or powder underneath it and that's never what I'm going for so for me it's just this is not my favorite formula and the duo it's like I never am gonna reach for this either so realistically this needs to be decluttered but it is coming in last in the ranking this next one is by VC collection and this one really is just coming in last place because I got it in a beauty subscription box and I never think to reach for it it's pretty it's pigmented um, I do have another shade in this one and you can see like one dot really does go quite a long way. Um, so I don't think for me, it's not, um, it's not a quality issue so much is that I don't know who VC collection is, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like when I'm thinking about things that I want to reach for and that I'm excited to play with, I'm usually thinking of things that, um, like my friends and family and other people are playing with or love or like something I can like talk about. And I can't talk about that. <laughs> you know, if somebody asks me like, what's on your cheeks, I'm not going to remember the name of it. So for me, that one ranks lower just because I don't know who it is. It's certainly not a quality issue though because you can see it's like quite pigmented it blends out really beautifully but for me it's just not a favorite next is this palette here by Danessa Myricks this is her dewy cheek and lip palette so this one the only reason it's ranking the way that it is and it's a little bit lower than some of the others is because this formula is a little bit more tricky in my opinion to apply over powders typically um in the summertime it's not as big of an issue but the rest of the year certainly i have a full face of powder on and so with this formula and part of it certainly is that it is meant to be for lips and cheeks i think but this formula is a little bit more I don't want to say greasy because that's going to give like a bad um, interpretation, but it, it's just more emollient and it also is more tacky. Um, certainly I prefer these over that Wander Beauty duo. Um, this one definitely has more pigment. You can see this one kind of like washes away to almost nothing. These really can hold on to their pigment. So if you're looking for something that's going to be more bold and in your face, these colors are absolutely it. But if you're somebody that religiously has to powder their face, I can see how this formula might not be your favorite. Um, certainly it's not my absolute favorite just because of that. That being said, I do love the pigmentation on these. I enjoy a really punchy blush. So for me, it's one that I do have to apply on top of my foundation and I don't find that it pulls it up, but I have to powder on top of it and then typically put a powder foundation or excuse me, a powder blush on top of that. But I do enjoy this formula. I'm happy to have this in my collection. It's just not my top favorite. The next one I want to talk about is by Patrick Ta. This is admittedly a duo um, in the shade She's That Girl. Um, this one is nice. It is not nearly as tacky as the Danessa Myricks. And I find that it does 
blend out really beautifully. It's a pretty prominent color. Again, I'm somebody that really likes more of a poppy, punchy blush. So most of these colors are going to be poppy and punchy because that's what I prefer. Um, and I, I really enjoy this formula. I do find that it applies nicely both over foundation and powder. And I love these duos. I actually have one of his palettes as well love this formula it's very very good it applies well over powder I just don't reach for it as often admittedly because I think it's in the duo compact which is in insanity to me I enjoy the fact that it's in a duo compact I enjoy the palettes and I know that I don't reach for them as often as a regular compact it makes zero sense I am who I am <laughs> the next one is by Fenty this is her cream blonde no, not bronzer cream blush um it's their cheeks out this is in strawberry drip this is first of all a really beautiful beautiful color it's super punchy and i find that it does blend out really nicely um this one though i will say if you are not careful when applying it over powder it definitely lifts the powder um so that's why it ranks a little bit lower um that being said i enjoy this very much in the summertime a the color is like very summery to me i'm not sure if i mentioned this is in strawberry drip the color is like very summery to me very punchy very pretty i enjoy it i want to get the orange one in the worst way um this is definitely for me more of a summertime blush because i'm not wearing as much powder typically in the um summertime so if you're somebody again that like has to powder has to powder and wants to be able to put a cream product over that powder this formula is not going to be that for you but if you're somebody that can powder over a cream blush or that doesn't wear a lot of powder and just wants something on top of their natural skin or foundation i think this is a great formula the next one i want to talk about is by elf this is their luminous putty blush this is a little bit newer to my collection but i have been really enjoying it it's not the most emollient formula so it's not going to be sticky it's not going to be super slippy or greasy certainly on the skin and i do find that this is one that you can blend very beautifully on top of foundation and powder certainly with i in my again this certainly with any cream or liquid product that you're putting over powder you want to be very mindful about what you're doing using stippling motions no swiping motions um but i do find that i can apply this on top of my powder without it being disrupted i have the shade isla de sol i love this again i love a good punchy blush so this formula and this color i just love it next i have this one by rare beauty i feel like these don't get talked about nearly enough these are um they're melting blushes i have the shade nearly apricot here i also have nearly rose in my collection and this one is like one that ugh, i feel like when i first got it i wasn't loving it i wasn't playing with it and i recently just kind of rediscovered it and i am in fact enjoying it I find that I can apply this successfully over my powder with a sponge and I have to be really intentional and <laughs> diligent to make sure I'm not using swiping motions. It's definitely more of a muted formula. You can see some of these others here are really punchy, whereas this one definitely blends out more. It's going to be a little bit more of a subtle formula. I think this makes sense as far as her range goes because of her liquid blushes having so much pigment and being like the one dot and it's Ba -ba boom i admittedly have not tried those yet i would like to get my hands on a couple of those but in the interim i'm really happy to have these little melting ones again for everyday makeup if you're not looking for something super poppy if you're looking for something maybe more buildable i think this is a great option this one's a little bit newer to me but i have just been loving it and i think it's such a good formula this is by danessa myrix and this is her yummy skin um cream blush and this is in the shade bellini so unlike her other ones that I mentioned earlier, this is much less sticky of a formula. It still is going to be super punchy. So this is one, if you don't like a punchy blush, certainly this color is not going to be for you, but also like you're going to want to go in and really make sure you're building it up. You can definitely blend it out, but you can see it's still like significantly more punchy, even than that rare beauty one in nearly apricot. Again, somebody that really likes a bright, fun poppy blush so for me this works out well it's something that applies really beautifully to the skin it blends out really effortlessly on top of foundation and bare skin it can absolutely in my opinion be put on top of powder you just have to be really careful with it i personally with this one 
don't put it on top of powder because I find that it is such a punchy blush that when I powder over the top of it, the punch is still there and I'm not losing that. Um, and I don't necessarily have to apply a powder blush if I don't want to. The next one I have is by Westman Atelier. This is in the shade Minette, specifically this shade. I just think it's so pretty. This is admittedly the only shade I have of this. It's um, not a cost-effective formula, but I just think that it's stunning. It has like a soft peachy luminosity to it and it's like on a pink base. So for me, the color is just perfect. I also do find I can apply this over top powder, over top foundation and on bare skin and it blends out really beautifully. It's one of those that you can super sheer out if that is what you're going for or you can super build up if that's what you're going for. I really like the versatility of it. And again, I have the shade Minette and I just think it is the prettiest, like one of the prettiest colors in my entire collection. I love this blush so much. We are down to the top two. The top two probably won't be a super surprise if you have been following me for any amount of time, but the second in line is this one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pinkgasm. This has gone viral like I feel like 10 times over again. She has her new matte ones and I would like to get my hands on those. She also has the new Pinkasm Sunset that I wanna get my hands on, but this is what Pinkasm looks like. So it's one of those that like upon first application, it looks a little bit more intense, but it really shears right out and leaves a beautiful luminosity to the skin. Um, again, she does have matte options of these I can't attest to those. I've not yet played with them, but I do absolutely love this formula and I specifically love this color. I would also like to get my hands on the peach version of this. It's one of those liquids that I find I can apply on top of bare skin, on top of foundation, and on top of powder without much um, upset, if any at all. I, I think it just, I love the luminosity that it gives. It's not going to enhance texture any more than anything else is going to. Certainly anytime you put anything with like luminosity in it, it can enhance texture, but that is almost like a non-issue for me because I just love the way that that glow looks. So that is definitely like, I think number two is like the perfect spot for it. And finally in the number one spot, it should be absolutely no surprise if you've been here for any amount of time, but if you're new here, you might not know the Melt, um, what are these actually called? Cream Blush Lights. They're so good. This one specifically is in the shade Golden Hour. I have, I think, five or six of these because it's absolutely my favorite formula. It is very emollient, but it's not emollient in a way that it's going to be sticky at all. And it's emollient in a way that you can apply this flawlessly on top of powder without disrupting it. It doesn't pick it up. It doesn't move it around. It just lays beautifully. I love this. They have so many different shades of this. Golden Hour is like perfect for me in the summertime. I'm actually wearing it today with an Odin's Eye blush over the top of it. I love the shade. I love this formula. It's it is just the best. I sincerely wish that Melt would come out with bronzers in this exact same formula because it's just so good. It plays on the skin so beautifully. It works so well with sponges and brushes and fingers. It's just, it is the best, the best cream formula on the market in my humble opinion. That is all of my cream and liquid blushes. Like I mentioned, I don't have a super vast collection in the way that I have like 55 different formulas, but I am content right now with what I have. That being said, I'm always open to trying more. Please let me know down below, what are your favorite cream and or liquid blush products? What do I need to get my grubby little hands on? I'm always super intrigued and interested. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below. And as always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.